Well, one thing that you told me, like, way back in the day, and it stuck with me because we was in, like, I forgot if we was arguing or debating, but you had mentioned something. You said, you said, I dance to live, but you dance to escape life. What? Yep, you told me that. This is, like, way when I used to live in an NGA. I and, said, I dance to live? Yes. You was like, I live dance, but you dance to escape life. And when I heard that, oh I was God. angry because I was like, man, I dance, I, I dance for life, too. I'm a, man, I'm a dancer, man. I'll dance. I'll be out there on the competition. But the reality is, the older I got, you was right. Yeah. And the right, the, the thing that you had that was right was I dance to escape life. That's what I do. I don't use it as a tool to, to uh, get money or yeah. for my family to depend on me. I throw these competitions because I love dance. And it's yeah. always been escape. I got a very stressful job. After work, I'll just laugh sometimes to de de-stress myself. When I yeah. go into a dance mentality, it's a de-stress, calm, fun mentality. Mm -hmm. It's a difference than what you're talking about of people trying to make it to live. That means if you don't go viral, you don't eat. Yeah. And most people ain't going to do that, man. Like, most people just, the, the harsh reality is what you had and what you had was not planned. Yeah. You know, you, you worked hard for it, yeah. Yeah. But for to say it would be a lie to tell people that, yeah, you can do it too. Most people won't. Yeah, yeah. maybe most people need to know what you went through. Yes. <laughs> because <laughs> here goes this, the backstory that you don't want to talk about. Is, oh, I was buying you two dollar mucho mangoes <laughs> at the hospital so you could have something to drink that day. We was yeah, driving everywhere. Man, we were we were meet at the hospital. I, I, what did I say? Hospital? Yeah. At the gas station. Oh. <laughs> I was buying you hot burgers at the hospital. <laughs> I was on my deathbed. I was like, one cheeseburger. They we keep you alive at the hospital so you can dance. He didn't dance himself in the emergency room. He was in a coma. <laughs> that one double cheese got me back on my feet. That move was his last. Dang. Yeah, that's what a lot of like, that's what I feel like a lot of people should know, man. Because they, they gonna see your move. success and they thinking, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Y'all, yeah, they, they don't have no easy. idea. How many videos did you take that you didn't even upload? You know, how oh, many? Yeah. All the and just times. them not knowing how much you dance. Yes. Like, you got the name nonstop <laughs> for a reason, bro. Like, um, how many times have you kicked out of so-and-so's Bro, we yeah. were ready to leave the club. We like, he's still yeah, over there That's dancing. how you got the name nonstop. Yeah. When, I, when I met you at MJQ, when I first moved to Georgia, you was nonstop dancing all night. Like, no stop. It's not too many people with that mentality. Yeah. Like... I'm talking about we was at the club from what nine thirty till three. Got there early. Yeah, to get yeah. in free because we had no money. Yeah, no money back then. We got money now. Well, uh -oh. some of us do. Yeah. We got and now, and now the thing is, now that you made it, it's oftentimes people would just look at the state you're you're, you're that you're in. already in as versus what you had to do to get there. Right now, okay. So now, with that being said, do you think? If people apply that same pressure that I've applied, that I still apply to this day, can they still make it? That's what I'm getting I at. I think like, possibility and probability are two different things. But I think no. what it really boils down to is the love you got for it. Like I don't yeah, care how yeah, I don't yeah. care how strong somebody work ethic is. If you if you're up against somebody who love it and somebody who just got a strong work ethic, the one who love it gonna win because yeah. this ain't even work for him. Yeah, so if you got both. <laughs> Yeah, you can, I don't but know because the, the, I think you can, bro. It's just a matter of how you approach you, it. You can, but oftentimes people don't realize you could be the best dancer in the world and still not make it. Oh no! And the thing about no, it get, is, yeah. to me, in my opinion, the way that I show my love for something mm -hmm. is how much I will invest in things I don't like to do to do what I do want to do. Yeah. So if I work a job, whether I'm working at a factory. I can't, a lot, oftentimes people are like, I'm going to quit my factory job so I can dance full time. Mm -hmm. If you really love dance and you really want to travel, you will work that job you hate to support the thing you do want to do. Mm. Because I don't think, I think as a grown man, you have to take responsibility. Oh yeah, you definitely. You can't definitely, just be like, I want to dance all day and somebody else support me. That's yeah, not no, how life you, works. You definitely can't do that all your life. But I definitely walked out on jobs for dance yeah. numerous yeah. times. But also, I was winning comps to support myself back then. You had then. to win a comp every week. Yeah. And I was I was making clothes. I was selling clothes. I sold that stuff at one time. Um, 
Yeah. Cheesecake. That's yeah. What meant. I was selling cheesecake <laughs> out the pocket back then. But it's just like you gotta you really gotta figure out how you want it. And you if you're gonna make it, you can't just half ass it. You know what I mean? You gotta make all the right moves at the right time and you gotta be on it. You know what I mean? Like, cause I don't think it's ever too late. Like I, I blew up at 30. So imagine if you're 35, well, that still gives you 10 years, right? 